This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. This is the third of the three chapters on image enhancement techniques. The prior two chapters covered radiometric and spatial enhancement. In this chapter, we cover spectral enhancement, which is the process of refining spectral data from available bands. It applies an operation such as subtraction or division to corresponding pixels between two or more bands to create a new image, which may enhance features from the original. See your text for more information. The most commonly used spectral enhancement techniques are spectral ratios and indices, principal components analysis, or PCA, and tasseled cap. We cover examples of band ratios and vegetation indices. The others are beyond the scope of this book. Let's begin with the composite image created in Chapter 15 in natural color. Add the individual Landsat 8 bands 4 and band 5 for this chapter. Band ratios include two or more bands to enhance specific spectral properties. We'll begin by creating a 5-4 ratio, near infrared divided by red, which enhances the presence of vegetation. The brighter the tones, the denser the vegetation. For ratios based on two bands, there are two methods for creating simple indices. The first method uses the imagery tab raster functions. The second method uses the geoprocessing spatial analyst math functions. A third method, the raster calculator, will be covered later. We start with the raster functions method by opening the imagery tab, clicking the down arrow on raster functions, and choosing raster functions. Click on the math category. The divide, minus, and other math tools work on single band images. Band arithmetic is used for multiple band images, so click on it. The default method is NDVI, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Click on Method. For simple band ratios, we choose User Defined. Now let's create that 5-4 ratio, near infrared divided by red, to enhance the presence of vegetation in this image. In the Parameters tab, select the composite image as the raster. And for band indexes, enter the equation left parenthesis B5 divided by B4 right parenthesis. Click on General and give the file a meaningful name. Here we use B5 divided by B4. You can add additional details in the description box such as metadata to provide information on the process. Click on Create New Layer. Notice the brighter tones on the new layer. These indicate denser vegetation. Let's grab the Swipe tool and compare it to the original natural color composite image. Zoom into an area where there's forest and agriculture and swipe between the images. Natural color shows dense forest as dark green and fields with vegetative growth. Both of those are white in the ratio image. Zooming into Roanoke, the roads and river are very dark. There's no vegetation in those areas. Note that all tools and raster functions create an image useful for this map project only. So let's repeat the process using a geoprocessing tool, which does create a permanent file. There are some tricky parts here you need to be aware of. When using the geoprocessing tools, ArcGIS Pro treats the pixel values for Landsat imagery as integers. So when performing mathematical operations, the results are integers, usually truncated, resulting in a loss of precision. Pixel values are floating point numbers, and results for band ratios should also be floats. This means we need to ensure our image values are treated as floating point values. So in this multi-step process, we'll have to float each of the individual bands, then divide the floated bands. So we start with this process. Go to the Analysis tab and select Tools and search for Float. 
select the Float Spatial Analyst tool. So here's another tricky part. This tool uses the individual bands, not the composite image. So the tool needs to be run twice, once for band 4 and once for band 5. You can either add these individual bands to the project like I did, or navigate to them using the folder on the input raster line. I'll run this tool on both bands, resulting in two new images in the contents folder. Now search for the Divide Spatial Analyst tool and input the new float image files. Give the output raster a meaningful name. Here I use divide 5 by 4 and click Run. Notice that since we used the original single bands, the math was performed on the full extent of the Landsat scene. Now let's generate another ratio image, a 4 divided by 7 ratio, or red divided by MIR. This ratio is often used to identify differences in water turbidity. You can use either method, but only the geoprocessing tools create a new permanent file that can be used in other projects. Since we're not going to use this further, let's choose the imagery tab raster functions math band arithmetic. Again, this will be user-defined, and the band indexes will be B4 divided by B7. In this new image, areas of water are very bright. This ratio is designed to show water turbidity, so let's zoom into Smith Mountain Lake in the southeast corner of the image. While most of the lake is very bright white, dark areas are apparent in the southeast where the lake drains into the river. Let's compare it to the natural color composite using the swipe tool. This area is a dam. The areas right above and right below the dam are more turbid because the water is funneled through the turbines of the dam, thus is flowing more rapidly. More complex ratios can be accomplished using these tools, but ArcGIS Pro also has some shortcut tools for some of these, and the raster calculator in the Geoprocessing Spatial Analyst tool allows calculation in one step. We'll explore these indices in the next video.